Follow these instructions to carefully ensure a proper, tight fit for your wheel skin's genuine leather steering wheel cover. The time required is approximately 60 minutes. Wheel skin's genuine leather steering wheel covers are designed to fit snugly on your steering wheel. The lacing holes are reinforced to resist tearing, so you can pull very tightly on the cord while lacing. You may want to wear a glove or place tape or a band-aid on your finger for protection during installation. If your wheel has bumps or thumb rests at the 10 o'clock and 2 o'clock positions, stretch the leather at these points with your fingers before you begin lacing. Stretch and properly position the wheel skin on the steering wheel. Remove the lacing cord and needle from their compartment at the top of the package. Unwind the entire spool of lacing cord and stretch it out to remove any knots or curls. Thread the lacing needle by pulling only about six inches of lacing through the eye so you'll have enough cord to complete the job. Begin lacing at any point of the steering wheel which is not at a sewn seam or at a spoke of the wheel. Insert the needle between the edges of the cover and out through a front hole. Pull all but about six inches of the lacing out through this front hole. Leave this six inches of lacing to tie at the end. Then insert the needle through the rear hole directly behind the starting front hole and diagonally through to the next front hole to the left. Pull the stitch tight and continue lacing in this manner. Pull each stitch tight as you lace to lock the edges of the steering wheel cover together. You cannot tighten more than one stitch at a time. Remember, tight is right. The lacing holes on your wheel skin have been matched so that there is an identical number on each side. You should use every lacing hole. However, if the spokes of the wheel are wider than about one and one half inches, we recommend that you lace only the front holes at the spoke with dummy stitches. This will fill the front holes and help to hold down the cover over the spoke. Just remember that for every front dummy stitch that you make, you must skip a rear hole behind the spoke. Try to have the last reel stitch before the spoke come up partly onto the spoke, and the first reel stitch on the other side of the spoke come up partly onto the spoke. This will help to hold the cover down tightly over the spoke. Then, when you have completed the last dummy stitch and skip the same number of rear holes, you can again resume normal stitching once you have gone past the spoke. After you have completed lacing around the wheel, insert the needle through the last rear hole and up between the edges of the cover. The two ends of the lacing cord should now be sticking out of the cover at this position. Tie a double knot. Clip off the excess lacing cord and tuck the knot out of the way between the edges of the cover. Care for your wheel skin's genuine leather steering wheel cover by removing any soil buildup with only water and a soft sponge or paper towel. Avoid using strong all-purpose leather cleaners or protectants, for they will remove the special coatings and finishes that have been applied to this leather to ensure long life. Also, some perfumes, colognes, aftershave lotions, and hand sanitizers contain alcohol and other chemicals which may harm the finish. You may want to be sure that your hands are free of these substances before you take the wheel. Now you've successfully installed your wheel skin and you're ready for miles and